Hello everyone and welcome to our talk on training efficient controllers via analytic policy gradient. Control requirements for robotic systems are becoming increasingly complex. Robots with large degrees of freedom or highly nonlinear dynamics are demanded to be controlled in challenging environments. We want the controller to accurately track a trajectory. At the same time, control computation has to be efficient, which is especially important for robots with limited payloads, such as aero robots. Such control problems are generally solved with one or two approaches. On one side, there is model predictive control, so MPC. Using MPC, we assume that the dynamics of the systems are known, and run an optimization online to determine the best action to take. This approach leads to good tracking performance, but in turn requires expensive computation during deployment. On the other side, there's reinforcement learning, so RL. RL learns a control policy offline through interactions of a simulation and doesn't assume any prior knowledge. This has the drawback that in practice, RL oftentimes performs worse than MPC. However, since the optimization of the policy takes place offline, computation cost during the deployment is small. So we wonder, can we combine these two benefits? Can we use prior knowledge of the system to train a control policy to enable us to get performant control with low computation cost at execution time? An approach to train a policy while exploiting prior knowledge comes from differentiable simulators, which allows us to calculate gradients through a simulation. These simulators have been demonstrated to allow training of policies that control complex structures with large degrees of freedom. In the case of trajectory tracking, we can use such simulators to train a control policy as well. By comparing the resulting state with the reference we aim to achieve, we can calculate a loss. The loss can then be backpropagated directly through the simulator and update the control policy. Training a policy in such a way is called analytic policy gradient. Since a neural network is trained, execution at deployment time is fast as well. However, the papers don't outline or address common pitfalls of the method and the question remains if it's applicable to robots and how to avoid the pitfalls when training a trajectory tracking policy. Training policies with analytic policy gradient is not straightforward. We identified two well-known pitfalls and addressed them in this work. Firstly, it is prone to get trapped in local minima. We thus propose a curriculum learning approach. This allows us to set a distance threshold around the trajectory. Does the controller go outside of the boundary? We reset the robot onto the trajectory and continue learning. This leads to a more stable process where we stay close to the global MIM optimum. The other pitfall is to use long gradient chains. Long chains are well known to lead to vanishing or exploding gradients which renders them unusable. We propose to reduce the length of the gradient chains by evaluating the gradients in a concurrent fashion and only using a receding horizon to do so. As a result, the chain length is limited, which stabilizes the training. These two measures allow us to more stably train policies with analytic policy gradient. We evaluate our approach first on a classical control task, the card pole, and test it on trajectory tasks for two typical aerial vehicles, a quad rotor and a fixed wing. When training a quad rotor on a fixed set of polynomial trajectories, we achieve to learn a policy that generalizes to random test trajectories with low tracking errors, and achieve to reliably guide a fixed wing to a target point as well. We compare the performance of APG to commonly used control techniques, MPC and reinforcement learning, where we compare to both model-free RL and model-based RL methods. On the example of quadrotor, we see that APG training outperforms PPO, so reinforcement learning, in terms of tracking error 
while requiring more than 10 times less computation time during the deployment. We see a similar pattern also on the fixed wing, where APG achieves similar tracking errors to MPC, while resulting in more than an order of magnitude lower computation time. What we found is that APG can be trained in few shots, which makes APG a suitable candidate even to be quickly adapted to new tasks. So in summary, we can achieve a robust APG training with the two measures of curriculum learning and calculating gradients concurrently. This allows us to achieve computationally efficient controllers with low tracking error, making APG a viable solution for robotics.